That's it. Start day. It's seven something in the morning. We're gonna wait anchor. We're anchored here at the entrance of the Thames uh, for the night. And now at 10 is the start of to Portimao, 1,200 miles. Can't wait. And I mean, what could go wrong? Man overboard! What's going on here? Be big spinnaker run, etc. So now we just have to manage the start. Don't crash into anyone. Good spinnaker hoist. Um, be fast around the corner. And yeah, in two days we should be out of the English Channel. And I can't wait for this. A day and a half, a day and a half. It's gonna be pinching, uh, tacking through the English Channel. And as soon as this is done, all the way down. Thousand miles, gonna be easy. Can't wait, can't wait. Sorry. Pretty interesting day. We took the worst start ever, almost. And then we did a good job trimming kites and we came back up. And then our uh, tack line blew. Uh, problem with the trip line. We kind of dragged our spinnaker in the water for a while. Um, pick it back up, put another spinnaker up in time, not to lose like too much ground. Uh, on the way, which was pretty good. Um, came back up, the, fl the wind died, the fleet, the fleet compressed in this like wind hole. We kind of took the inshore option, which was a good one. And now we're back in a really good place. So, so yeah, I'm gonna keep fighting. And it's not even 12 hours of race. So yeah. That's good. And that's kind of healing problems uh, so yeah to do your logbook you need to be walking on the wall <laughs> Damn. it's really hard to picture the angle of here but yeah How is it going? We're getting there. Yeah. Uh, we're making life peachy. Peachy <laughs> Hamish for the beach. There's, uh, there's, here you go, there's three, there's three choices. You can have uh, steak, you can have ratatouille, or you can have the chef special. Chef special to rip up. Yeah. I love the chef se se special then. How hard is it to climb this? It is very hard. Everything takes 20 minutes and it should only take like 10 seconds. <laughs> oh god. Right. Yeah. Hello! Welcome to Harlem Bay, Vietnam. Everyone's a bit tired. <laughs> Jim, no retching you for a second, please. No, I won't retch you. <laughs> um, so, 6 o'clock. Uh, what about to do? What's changed over? You know where we are. 
No, yeah, Baywatch, go no, to bed, exactly. we'll be going to bed, Try and watch it on deck. No. Uh, we're about uh, third, fourth hour in the tide, so it's, 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 it's slight, but um, we're all getting our sea legs, so we'll, uh, we'll do our handover. So I'm, I'm just like this, going back to go off watch, and see you going, it's just like this, about to go on watch. So, yeah, there's a couple of places you go. And George has been nominated the ship's cook. Yeah. For the the, the, yeah. the the vessel's best meal so far. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alright, what the skipper said. Come on, Steve! Go out! Steve is oh, so God. slow. <laughs> Oh, cool glasses! <laughs> Are you a cyclist or something? <laughs> the Clipper 70s are race boats. On one hand, they are really demanding and require lots of hands on deck. And on the other one, even if they are coded for having 24 bunks, almost half of them are unusable at sea. So there is always half of the crew on deck and half of the crew below deck, sleeping or resting. At every watch change, everybody is on deck to pass the important information from the offcoming watch to the oncoming watch, evolution on the weather, position, sail plan, but also any adjustment that needs to be made regarding life on board since those are the only times where everyone is awake and in the same place. Right, uh, what are we watching up in? Salt water or fresh? Salt. Again, can we just take a look at what's happening? Because we're going through water like it's going out of action. Yeah, we're out of water again. I like that. Uh, has everyone had a clue? If it has not had a clue, find B or Philip or Tim. I remember how my dad always told me this say. Going upwind is two times the distance, three times longer, and four times the pain in the ass. Well, I guess he was right. Cass, you took a piece? <laughs> Hans is taking a piece. One minute. All right. The first two days and a half of the race caught our fresh crew like an autumn leaf in a winter storm. From all the excitement of the start, the parade in London, the close quarter maneuvering after the start line, we are now beating upwind to exit the channel. Stay sail, no way. So try to almost stay before that limit where your sail starts logging. That's where the boat accelerates. Another beautiful day in the channel, isn't it guys? Baby, how happy, happy, how happy are you to be here? Zero? I feel you, it's a bit wet. When are you gonna get better? Ah, uh, tomorrow? 
The old say, gentlemen don't sail to weather, takes all its sense when the boat is healing at a 40 degrees angle permanently, that cooking in the galley becomes a lifetime challenge and that it becomes easier to walk on the walls. And after a watch getting soaked on deck, you go back on your bunk, trying to get some sleep, but your bunk is wet and the boat slams into the waves constantly, often making you almost airborne and the sounds and vibration just rock your world like a cannon blast. How are you doing guys? Another day in paradise, hey? Isn't it wonderful? I was just like, why did I fucking left Australia? Could be surfing now. I realized we're going to strengthen you guys are sharing bucket, that's cute. <laughs> You seem a bit greenish, Anne. Now I'm enjoying it. It's fun. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit more conviction. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so <clears throat> it's the end of day two. We've been trying to visit the English Channel for a while. It's a, it's a bit of a pain in the neck. Um, just talking all day long. Uh, there is about like 15 to 20 knots supposed to uh, pick up during the night. Yeah. Not the best, but tomorrow hopefully we'll be bearing away and starting to go south, which is pretty good. Should be quite a, quite a bit of wind going down, so that's gonna be nice. Um, but yeah, now our boat is not our boat is not fast upwind, which is not the good condition for now, but after we have a thousand miles downwind where we can play our adventures. Come on.